Boom! Get em! Welcome back to Life With Us TV. It's your girl, Linda. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we are here to give you our Carnival Horizon review. Listen, Indeed Carnival Horizon are. is that ship yes. that we have <laughs> been chasing before the pandemic. And if you want to call this post-pandemic, we have finally, finally been able to get on the Carnival Horizon. This is a ship that even people that have been on the celebration, Mardi Gras, the Jubilee, they go right back to the Horizon because yes. they say it's their favorite ship. Yes. We're gonna give you, we're gonna give you the real about yeah, it. Yeah, so we're gonna, we're give, gonna you, give it to it. Yeah, so we're, we're gonna, gonna give you our likes and our dislikes. And we'll so first of all, we're gonna tell you we were there on August the 3rd through mm -hmm. August the 11th, 2024. Our ports of call were Aruba, mm -hmm. Curacao, La Romana, Dominican Republic, and Amber Cove, Indeed. Dominican Republic. Let's just run through our ports of call first. Because baby, let me tell you, I was so happy to be able to snag this itinerary yes. because I wanted to do a mixture of the different ports that either we've never been to before or we've only been to maybe once with a group so we weren't able to really do the things that we wanted to do outside of the group. Right. Aruba. I mean. Yes. Hands down was the best port of call in my opinion. <laughs> I can't yeah, wait. Because. To go back. We was able to check out Aruba on the tracks. Yes. Well, not trikes, but ask what trike. <laughs> <laughs> so this was my husband's birthday trip that yep. I planned for him. So I did a lot of things that I knew that he would enjoy. So I have found this company called Trikes Aruba. Mm -hmm. They also have a trikes in Cozumel or Cancun, one of them, but it's in Mexico. Right. And I was able to talk to them. They picked us up from the port area. Low upcharge. Keep it real. But of course, gas is not is not cheap. So what was the price? I think you told me it was like so one. The trike itself for two people on one trike was one ninety. Which it wasn't bad in my opinion. It wasn't bad at all. It was for a three hour tour. We're gonna talk about that. And then if you wanted to add another person, cause another person could get on the back of the trike. I think it was an additional $30, don't quote me. But we'll leave bad. all of the information in the description field below. But when I tell you that was the highlight. I'm telling you. we ca I came it, out the gate swinging. I'm telling you, that trike brought so much attention. Like everywhere we rode, people were taking pictures, they were stopping, they were looking. And I was like, how befitting <laughs> that our first time in Aruba, we got to ride around and, and see everything. He took us everywhere, y'all. Cause mommy yeah. said it was supposed to have, we thought it was gonna be a bunch of us, yes. but it was just only us and the person that was leading the group. So he was able to take us to places that, that he, he wouldn't he, have been able to take us to. If it was if a lot of us. A, yeah. So we had a personalized tour. Yeah. It and was he dope. said, what time does your ship leave? And we were like, da, da, da. He said, do you want to, you, you, you want to still go? So we went for like four and a half hours. Yeah. We, we went from one <laughs> side of the island to the other side. Mm -hmm. of the, when I tell you we were at the port area, we got as far as baby beach. So if you know anything about how far that is, that's how much ground we were able to cover just being in the island that low. We just had an amazing time. Also in Aruba, while we were waiting for him to pick us up to get do the trikes, we did do the free train, trolley? Trolley. Yeah. And that was cool, that was cute. That was yeah, another was, yeah. way to see um, the port area of right. um, Aruba. That was cool. Yeah, and then they had a lot of places you could walk, uh, a lot of shops, we places did. to eat, places to drink. So really, to me, if you wanted to kind of relax in Aruba, you can. You can do right at the port. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Aruba is one of those places that I know we're gonna fly back to and stay for at least a week. Oh yes, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> All right, next port of call was Curacao. Curacao, I tried to find something to do and everybody said you have to visit one of the beaches. You have to do mm -hmm. Mumbo Beach or I think it was Eagle Beach. So I just decided, that because of the aesthetics of Mumble Beach that seemed more like my speed, and it didn't disappoint. It was it was relaxing. It wasn't a lot of turn up when we were there. The water was great. Right. Because um, it is, the, the section where we were was man-made, but it was nice. Very nice. The food was good. Yes, the drinks was good. The drinks were even better. Yeah, like to the point where I had to tell the bartender, take the drink back because that's too strong. <laughs> yeah. You're, if I drink that, I probably will still be there now. Take that back. 
Yeah. But yeah, that was a good time. We did that through the cruise line. We could have done it cheaper if we did it on our own, but we also know that Aruba and Carousel, their taxi services are very expensive. So we just went ahead and shelled the money out to the cruise line and said, mm -hmm. just get us it's there and get us, get us <laughs> right. back. Yeah. La Romana, Dominican Republic, we decided that this was gonna be a day that we didn't do any excursions because we've been in Dominican Republic so many times. And we didn't have to. And we didn't have to. No. The airport area yes. is so nice. Right off, right, right, soon as you get off the ship, you're right there. If you miss that <laughs> ship from that port area, yeah, it's you, all de you. you yeah. deserve it. <laughs> yeah. You can literally look at people on their balcony from the pool areas. So that's what we did. We got off early, got us two loungers got into the water, we did the pool, we did the swim up bar, and we just like vibed out with the people that were there. I will tell you this, the drinks were trash. Yeah, yeah. The drinks were trash, but let me go ahead and put you up on game that sis put me up on. Yes, please, and I said, why, please, why did not think of this? Yeah, well, sis did, sis uncle. Yeah, put, sis uncle put yeah. her up on game. So you have to go through duty free to get to the area where the pool is in La Romana. Right. The bottles there are like 20 and $30. Yep. They went back and bought a $20 bottle and went to the swim up bar and bought juice for $4 and mixed all they knew how. And yep. I was like, why didn't we? And they were <laughs> like, like even if they have to throw it away, look at how many people can drink off of a $20 bottle of whatever it is that they bought. Right. And I was like, yeah, because the little bit that we did, I think I had two drinks. He had something for his birthday. I think we spent like $60. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, but that, 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 that's, that's, a, that's a pro tip right that's there. That's a pro tip. Because every port you go through, you go through duty free first. Yeah. And have never thought of that idea. Yeah. So like I said, even if you have to throw it away, yeah, it's $20, $30. $20, $30. All right. The last port of call was Amber Cove, Dominican mm -hmm. Republic, and we wanted to do something different. Like I yeah. said, we've been to Dominican Republic so many times. Yeah, we have. And we have done everything from dune buggies. Went up the mountains. Up the mountains, swinging yeah. over the cliffs. We've done a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> so I wanted to do something that was more on the cultural side to be able to show us a different feel to some of the things and not be so adventurous. And we did a cultural tour. Yeah. And we did it with this lady named Maria. Yeah, Mama Maria. Mama yes. Maria was everything. Now, this was she through the was. cruise line as well, but we happened to have Mama Maria, and she was everything. Yeah. Very thorough. The only thing that I will say about this tour when you go, after a while, you start to feel like, it gets redundant. I wear to go how. Right. I don't I don't want to hear about no more chocolate. No more coffee. <laughs> yes. <laughs> about the outfits. Like Yeah. I, if, yeah. I feel like the information was overlapping. Yeah. And we said we get it because they trying to help each other uh, mm -hmm. make some money. But we felt like the tour should have been shorter. Because the tour was like three hours. Yeah, and it yeah. felt like four. <laughs> yeah, I, I think the <laughs> But tour, it was good. I feel like they could get away with an hour and a half or two hours. I agree. Yeah. Now, this is a pro tip. Don't tell nobody I, I didn't tell y'all nothing. Yeah. Because this is the second time that we have attempted this, and every time we feel like we got got. Mama Wana. Yeah. Mama Wana is yeah. the drink of Dominican Republic. If you've been, you've probably had it, and it's delicious when they give it when to you. When they give it to you, and then when they get home. The first time... I thought I did it because I only bought the empty vessel That's that right. I filled up own. myself and made it and let it sit. And I said, this is trash. So this time we went back, we had the most delicious. Yes. I mean, this was, it the, was best. the best. It was the best. This yeah. was the best that we have had. And we and asked him. I asked him, I said, is this I, that? I think we asked him about five times. We yes, said, bro, you sure? Same. Did this going to taste like this? He's, yeah, I yeah, said, yeah. did y'all make this or was that bottled? No, no, it's no, the no. Same. It's the same. It's the same. We got that home and we cracked the bottle last what? week. Not even close. Trash. Not even close. We're not, not buying close. any more. We just gonna drink it when we go over there. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so that's the pro tip. Just yeah. save your money. Hey, and but <laughs> but look, if you got if you bought in the Mama Wana when you was in DR and it tastes the same, did it taste the same? Let us know in the comments. Down in the yeah, comments please let us know because I want to know. Yes. All right, so now we're done with what we did and where we went. Let's go ahead and get into the Carnival Horizon. First yeah. of all, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, our list of dislikes is very short. 
Right. We understand why a lot of people love yes, the Carnival Horizon. Yes. As soon as we stepped on board, I said, Stanley, I said, I'm not trying to be funny. Is this like a base model of the celebration, celebration Mardi, Mardi, Mardi Gras? Gras? Like it's yeah. the aesthetics of the overall ship matches it nice. very, very well. Nice. The flow of it, not so much, but it doesn't have to be. Like this is the Carnival Horizon. Right. And it just didn't have the bells and whistles that Carnival Celebration, Celebration Mardi Gras and all of those have because right. they're way bigger. They have more real estate to put more of those specialty dinings and specialty venues and things like that. Otherwise, I thought it was a great looking ship. Yeah, great. Especially when you like first walked in in the atrium. Yes. Atrium, real nice. That little funnel those thing. Two they of have, them. Yeah, that John was so nice. The bar around there. Like every time yes. we every time we came to the atrium, no matter what time it, it was, was if that bar was open, people was up over there because yeah. it was so nice. It was really, really nice. Yeah. And I touched on the flow of the ship. The flow of the ship is really, really nice. Of course, it always <laughs> we always into the back of the ship, like every other carnival ship, where you get to the dining room area and it's like, wait a minute. How'd I get there? Do I go on uh, three or four? four <laughs> go around the corner, pass go, knock on, give a yeah. secret password. Same thing on this ship. Yeah. I actually thought it was going to be a straight pass through, but it, it's the exact same yeah. one. So matter of fact, if ship. you've been on the Carnival Magic to get to the dining room, it's the same. It's the exact, it's the exact same. same thing. <laughs> I love like the carpet. Like I said, the decor was really, really nice. The only part that I will say, this is, I'm not going to say it as a dislike because this is one of those things that I just say off. This is one of the things that separate, when I say a baby base model of the Celebration Mardi Gras, all of that, the cat. Cabin. Yeah. The cabins look like every other carnival ship. ship. Yeah, the dated cabins. The dated cabins, yeah. the clown <laughs> colors. Like we were in a spa balcony, so we had the <laughs> sea foam green shower curtain. You can see the age on the balcony. So, yeah. baby, when I tell you, if they were to just take that ship out of commission for a year and gut out the cabins, Oh yeah, yeah, I can see that being booked over the Celebration Mardi Gras and Jubilee any day because I do too. Yeah. One of the 100. other things we said we love is what the size. Yes, yes, it was perfect. It is. Perfect. I didn't feel like I was overcrowded with people. I didn't feel like nobody was always in my way. Mm -hmm. It was plenty of seating, plenty of places to sit down to eat, drink. Yep. So you might not be able to get where you wanted to. But you'll there, get somewhere. There was a spot for you in the end. <laughs> Let's put it like that. <laughs> so what we've been echoing for years, Carnival, got doing Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, if you're listening, we like this size ship. Yes. Keep making this size mm -hmm. ship and make them up to date. Like you are right. just like, take these <clears throat> ships and make them look like the horizon but make the cabins meet the aesthetics of the Celebration Mardi Gras and Jubilee. Yep. It's going to be perfect. The game is going to change if the you do that. The game is going to change. Yeah. All of us don't want to walk a mile right. <laughs> to everything. <laughs> it's nice. I love the Celebration, but sometimes I may want to jump on something a little bit more quaint, a little bit more walkable, right. um, where you feel like you can get to your people easier than you can on a Celebration. Yeah, so we want to thank all of the family mm -hmm. members that came through the channel and said, y'all are going to love the Horizon. Let me tell you. We did. You was right. You were right. <laughs> y'all was right. Y'all was right. I immediately <laughs> said, I get it. I definitely get it. Yeah. And like when I say I get it, like we said, the flow, like yes. it, it was carefully thought out. Most of the yes. time I feel like carnival ships are not th thought out well. Right. This one was one of those ones. They they took their time. Yep. They talk them through it. Yeah, they did. <laughs> so let's 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 move on to the, the staff. Oh yeah. The staff on the ship was great. I mean they were great. Everywhere from let's start on with our cabin steward. Ronaldo, he, man, he he was he was the, <laughs> he, he was on ten every I mean, day. He, he was the what we call it the party. The, the he was the life of the party. Life of the party. Yeah. He he would knock on the cabin, and by the time we by the time the door, he hit the door. How y'all doing today? I'm feeling good. Hey, I was like, you need to stop. And here's the thing: outside of our cabin, because we were on the spa um spa deck. They have like this tranquil music 
Yeah. I believe he changed the music. We had everything from Cardi B. We had everything from <laughs> yeah. Kiss. Like I when mean, I say every genre, it ran all through the genre. I said I believe Ronaldo is changing the music. Yep. And then make, <laughs> see him in the hall, be by the car. Hey y'all! <laughs> I said he had everything to do with that music being different. Yes, uh, everywhere we went at the bars, the staff was great. Mm -hmm. um, at all the specialty diners we went to, staff was great. So they were great. When you get on there, they're gonna treat you like a king and a queen, fam. So yeah. yeah. And in particular, our mm -hmm. um, staff at Gigi's. We'll get there in a minute. When we're talking about the food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They were ever like yes. when I tell you their energy was so magnetic, so magnetic. Yeah, it was. Yeah. All right. So what are we gonna talk about next? Hey, let's talk about some food because we know y'all love some food on the right. shit, man. So so let's say we're not we're gonna disappoint you all a little bit, but not really because this was his birthday cruise. We did a lot of specialty dining. Yeah. So we did do some of the regular things, guys' burger. And Blue Agana. Pretty much ate too many of them. I don't want to admit it. Yeah. Like um, Blue Iguana, of course. Oh, what? Oh, pizza. Uh -huh. And these firecracker shrimp that we were ordering from room service. From room service. I'm telling you, the pi the pizza and well, let's let's let the quattro pizza. Let me the quattro. Specific. The quattro pizza and the firecracker shrimps was were a highlight good. for room service this time. Yes. Yes. By far. They I did. think this was the best um, <laughs> Quattro Formaggi pizza I've had on Carnival. Ever. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It took it went to number one. Yeah, fast. that went to number one. Yeah, that went to number one fast. Um, we ate at the buffet. Yeah, the buffet was good. The one first time. First time. The next time, I, it was almost like they just didn't care. They didn't <laughs> they care did. at all. <laughs> I mean, no flavor, no seasoning. Nothing it was just, made sense. It turned back into what we say cruise food <laughs> yeah but the first time i was like okay because it was never really packed because mm -hmm. people were going to the dining room so we were just easily like we said this was a leisure vacation like we were chilling right. so it was easy for us to just wash our hands go to the buffet grab something the first night we thought we had hit the gold mine we was like people ain't here <laughs> No, because they probably thought it was going to suck. Yep. And it was good the first night and the rest of the night, it, it yeah, sucked. Yeah, it sucked. But let's move on to the highlights of the specialty dining. So let's let's go back to the Gigi's. Gigi's was one of those places that I didn't feel like would wow me because one, I'm not heavy on the Asian, Asian side. Food, like yeah, you, um, right. Stanley is. Yeah. So that's why I booked it because it's his birthday. I think it was... Other than the next one I'm going to talk about, this was... This was my favorite. By, this, this was my favorite. Like, it GG, was so good. Hands down. If, we, if we're going to rate it uh, like... Uh, like, a, like, uh, like Keith Lee? Yeah. I, it, it's, it's a 10 it's a out 10. of 10. It was it's a, a 10. 10 out of 10. Yeah. 10. All the way. All the way. <laughs> so we had... Uh, so we're going to look down at this paper. So, uh, what, what, so what, we what? had chicken... Yeah, where did I write it down at? Oh, you no. Know, oh, what happened? Forgive us <laughs> as we look down. So we had chicken spring rolls, which were really good. Delicious. Potato balls. And they were like potato with cheese and mm -hmm. chives and whatnot. Good. It was really good. good. I thought it was going to be weird. Pot stickers, which they look like dumplings, they honestly. <laughs> they were cool. Yeah. I mean, but it's a it's a pot sticker. You yeah. can't. But they still were good. They were good. The Kung Pao chicken, which is not one of my favorites, was great delicious we had peppered steak yeah because at first i ordered something else and she said can i suggest that you do the pepper steak instead and i'm so glad she did that mm -hmm. peppered steak baby mm -hmm. if yes. i had a microwave <laughs> i would have taken it back to my room yes she even offered she was like would you want to box this up i said i can't heat it up nowhere <laughs> then we had shrimp fried rice i know y'all probably think we'd be greedy. no we, they gave us That's family, family style. style yeah they gave us so family they style. gave us different ones from the different categories to try yeah so we did the family style so we didn't order all that food they 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 said here is your pick pick that one pick that one pack that one so what else did we have we had the haka noodles haka noodles the best. They yes. were better than Carnival Celebrations. Yeah. Haka noodles. 100. 100. 100. <laughs> and then for dessert, I had a um, a caramel um, creme yep. crepe. Caramel creme crepe. I think that's what they called it. 
and you had uh, creme brulee. Creme brulee. Mwah. Mine was good. I'm not gonna say mwah to yeah, it. Yeah, mine was. Mwah. Yeah. And then we had two drinks. One was the Bali Sunset. That was good. And the Crazy Mango. Crazy but the Crazy Mango, mango was what was that? That Crazy Mango had us lit. I had to take one to go. Yeah. <laughs> That's how good it is. I was like, because you know I'm a margarita girl. So if you can get me to order something twice, yeah. you got me. It's good. So, so fam, we highly recommend if you get on the horizon, pay the 60 was it $60 to go? No, it was like $23 a person. It was okay. cheap. Oh, $40, 50 Yeah. It's, it's, it's well worth it. Very much well worth and it. And so in the comments, if you have been to GG's, Please put down your experience and let the fam know if we lying or we not lying. <laughs> <laughs> so the next one we're gonna talk about, I said this was my personal favorite because it wasn't overall. The chef's table. Y'all, we finally were able to do the chef's table. We yeah. were finally <laughs> Yes. We have been chasing the chef's table but let me for change, forever. Let me, let me change, like, as far as when it came down to the food, GG's was the best, but came down yes. to food and experience. That's why I said yes, it was the overall chef's table goes for to the me. No, yeah, the overall brings it to number one. So yes. I, had, I had to change that. I had, I had to think about it. Yeah. So <laughs> chef's table from beginning to the end was just an experience Ooh. that I will never forget. Yes. We were able to walk through the galley. We were able to sit there and watch the pastry chef make a molten cake. Right. He gave us the recipe. I'm not even going to name the menu because it, it changes could, it ever so often. Right. But just, just know it was good. It was so good. The presentations yes. were everything. We were able to take a group photo. They gave us that. I look cockeyed for some reason in the photo, <laughs> but that's neither here nor there. I, I will say I'm so glad we did it because I wasn't expecting to be able to walk through the kitchen and see like mm -mm. how how the food comes from the kitchen all the way to your plate. Like like when you send something back. That's a lot of progress. It's a lot of, it's yeah, it's that's a, lot. a lot. That's a process. It's a lot to go with it when you send something back. Did y'all know they have a whole bar in the kitchen back yeah, there? Yeah, they in the kitchen making. I said, oh. My brain always told me that they had like a pass through to a bar. Like a close bar, like, you know, they next to Alchemy no. or or they next to the casino no. or somewhere like that. They go get, or the sports bar and they go get the drinks. No. Nah. No, it's a real bar yeah. with a cage. Well, at least on the horizon. At we don't least know on about the horizon. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. And to be honest with you, I think that the staff back in the kitchen were more excited to see us. Oh my God. Than we were to see them. They were. I mean, they I, were. They did. They they did everything to us except for give us a hug. Yes. They, <laughs> they was, I mean, they were like, we got visitors, and I said, I can imagine that all they see is each other yeah, all <laughs> until day, they see all day, us. all year. All yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine? Working, sleeping. So how much was the... Uh, at the same place with the same people? Right. So how much was the chef table? I don't want to quote you all. It was a hundred But it was a hundred and some dollars per person. I want to say <clears throat> 160 something like well, that. Well... But it was worth it. Worth it. The experience... Well worth Yeah. It. We yeah. ate stuff that I knew that I would never, ever try if you had put it in front of me any other time. Right. Like... There's some kind of duck and this, that, and that. Stay. Everything yeah. Yeah. was delicious. But my highlight of the, of the chef's table was they brought this magician in. Oh yeah. I wish I remember his <laughs> name. We'll 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 flash him if we can find the name. <laughs> he came in with the skits. As soon as he came in the door, I said, "Oh hell, he would." Yup, you can you can you can tell by you could tell by the way he, he looked in his manner is the his walk the mannerisms. mannerisms. Yeah. This man did things that I'm still questioning. I felt him touch me on my face, but he never touched me. He touched me. He touched Stanley, but I felt it. Yeah. And I have the video. He didn't touch me. Nope. This man did stuff that he took somebody's card and put it in his wallet. And they thought they still had the car. It was a it lot was, going on. It was wild. But it was it was such a pleasant surprise because we didn't know that. He said we're gonna bring somebody in here from the from the arts or something like that. Yeah, the art staff. The arts. And it was like, <laughs> huh? Huh? And I was like, wow, we got a uh magic show at the we was not expecting that. Mm -mm. And it that lasted a good little while, like maybe 30 minutes. Now, this one thing we walked away with and we was pissed off. And this is for the carnival staff that's, that's uh, over the food. 
If y'all can make the food like that consistent in the dining room, I'm telling you, the game will change. Game over. All the good food, y'all, is at the chef's table. <laughs> it is. Oh my God. Like, so if you've been like on Virgin, yeah. It was comparable. Virgin's food is at the chef's table. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. So then our last specialty dining that we did, we actually did it on the first night. Mm -hmm. And y'all know this is not my favorite place in the world. I go. The steakhouse. Yes. <laughs> And I can say the steakhouse was delivered. The best, the best steakhouse experience mm -hmm. and food by far. Yep. Yes. No, no cap. I was like, oh. So if I had had this experience the first one, two, three times. I probably I, would go every time. I probably would go every time. Because mm -hmm. that was really good. So we had surf and turf. Yep. Delicious. Um, we had the risotto. The risotto was, was always hitting in my opinion. Delicious. Um, what else did we have? I got it uh, written down. Um, um, the mini burgers. Yeah, of course. They they come out first. Um, we had this wine, um, red wine sauce with our steaks. That just took it over the top. Yes, fam. <laughs> and for my dessert, I always get the cheesecake. The cheesecake is superior. And Stanley got... I had the disappointment. <laughs> See how I'm looking at the mic? Disappointment of my life. <laughs> so the guy next to us was like, you need to get the apple tart. You shouldn't have trusted it's, it. It's... That's what's him. He did. He literally said. Yeah. I was like, okay, so you do like this. I'm specking for it to be real good. It was real bull skin. That's what it was. <laughs> that stuff was terrible. I, like, don't even do it. Don't I mean, even do it. He's <laughs> telling him. He had, and you know how we try to put it in their mouth and it'd be like. I said, because I was specking for it to be like, you know, have my eyes rolling in the back of my head. You did not have a no. Keith Lee experience. No, nah, it, it just, it just. You you had man. a, you see this in my hands? Zero out of 10. Yes, zero out of 10. <laughs> it was, it tastes very, um, I, it, it tasted like it was like made for diabetics, but it was nasty diabetic food. Yeah. It, it wasn't even like. Sweetened with Splenda and made it, you know, zhushed it up. I, I, no, it was horrible. No, <laughs> and I was and, like, and usually, and usually, ice cream makes it can better. Save, you know, a bad pie or cake. No. The ice cream couldn't even save it. The ice cream said, "Don't put me in this." <laughs> the ice cream said, "I ain't got nothing to do with this plan." <laughs> ice cream said, "Don't put me in this." <laughs> right. All right, so the next day we had, we went to the dining room. Yes. We only went to the dining room one time because. We were going to go twice. We, it was, we were adulting, um, and we could, we didn't get up. But anyway, yeah, so we right. went the next to the last night, and they actually had lobster mm -hmm. that night. So Stanley got the lobster, I got the prime rib, and we shared a veggie lasagna. All of it could go back in the trash. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. It wasn't, yeah. And so we was gonna keep lid. Maybe a two out of three ten. Three out of ten. Two, two or three out of ten. We had dialogue. corn chowder. <clears throat> and I cannot wait for that vlog to come out and we might insert it here. The corn chowder looked like somebody opened up a can of cream corn, put it on the stove, and put it in a bowl. Yep. And, and it and tastes it like to that too. Yep. I said, this is not corn chowder. This is cream corn. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got the molten cake for dessert and that was good. Other than that, that was our dining experience. I don't know. We said it at up back in the ship aesthetics. The dining room was beautiful. The dining room was. Oh, the dining beautiful. room was beautiful. Yeah, they did that. And it was <laughs> nicely laid out. Where you know most dining rooms, sometimes you can't even get by without you know butt bumping somebody's elbow. Right. No, the, it was very spaced out, and I loved it. All right. The next thing we talk about the staff, we need to go back because the cruise director. Georgia? Oh, yeah. We forgot to talk about Georgia. Georgia was everything. Yes, she was. I wasn't... When I got on this ship, I didn't do any research about who was going to be on board. Nothing. Because I really just wanted this to be a woo saw trip for us. Yes. Georgia's energy reminded me so much of Ryan Rose. Ryan Rose. Yeah. And she moved like Ryan. She did. She was everywhere. Everywhere. We were yeah. in the dining room. She popped up. Hey, girl. Uh, like come from but that's what ryan used to do and ryan used to do the exact same i don't care what time we would walk out of that cabin and go somewhere we were bumping to georgia right. i'm like when does the child sleep yeah so very I, good i loved her vibe and her energy she mm -hmm. was very fun very good. so if she's on the ship when you go in there you're gonna have a good time with her yeah yes another thing the serenity deck 
the serenity area um that was really nice yeah i did love that it was very spread out still had a problem with people hogging the clamshells but that that's everywhere yeah. and i did like that um icon take note that they actually had umbrellas and things to shield you from the sun sure did so while we were moving they couldn't put them up but while we were in court you know whatever or sitting still we could put the umbrellas up to shade us from and that icon take note icon had us off that based in like rotisserie chicken yeah because you had to buy and then you the had to buy to buy the place to get the umbrellas yeah and they were like 100 200 no 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 on icon you, you had to buy <clears throat> we talking about in the front of the ship where we were there were no umbrellas out there. No, no, okay, okay. I'm, they I'm only had them on the side. The side, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Um, let's move on to the alcohol, the drinks that okay. we uh, that we tried uh, this time. Okay, so we stuck a lot with our norms. So so uh, we did margarita pitchers. Oh uh, yes. So let me, let us we put this on our Facebook page. Shameless plug. If you're not following our community on Facebook, Life with Us TV on Facebook, you'll find yep. us. And we had posted, does anybody know that you can buy margarita pictures? You can buy different kinds of pictures. I can't name them right now. But it saves a whole lot of freaking money when you have a person or a couple of people drinking the same thing. Yep. But here's the trick. This is the real sauce. Yeah, listen real good. Here it is. Sometimes they look at you funny when you say make it without ice. because or light they ice. So then you say light ice, and then they'll be like, okay. We do light ice, and I promise you, we will take that picture back to the room, and it will be an all-day picture. So we got at least four to almost five cups out of that a piece. Yep. By doing it that way. And yep. it's $48. Like 47 dollars $47, Well worth but it. But look at what you just said. Right, because you pay you pay twelve dollars, twelve thirteen dollars for just for one, one margarita, margarita from over at the tequila bar. Yeah, so it's it's well worth it. Yeah, so the the secret is don't let them load it up with ice. Right, because if you load it up yeah. with ice, you're gonna get four cups. Yeah, and that's just two a piece. Still a savings, but why we ain't getting four five out of that? Right. So and that's and also pro tip, get it from. The tequila bar on, on the Lido, Lido deck. Agreed. Because we actually got one over at the Serenity deck. Shouts out to Leah. Thank hey, you so Leah. much. Thank you so much, Leah, for hooking us up with a margarita pitcher. Leah she, uh, blessed us with yeah, one. Yeah, she bought us one over there. And so hers since, was good. It was good, but it wasn't as strong as, as it was the over on um from the Lido deck's tequila bar. So if you want it strong, get it over there. And then we bought another one because we were like the one that <laughs> Leah had. It didn't need to be strong for me. It just needed to taste good. We bought another one and that one was like, yeah, really? This what you gonna do? This what you did to me? Yeah, so get them all from the tequila bar. <laughs> get them all from the tequila bar. So of course we couldn't have a trip without going to the Alchemy bar. Yes. And we still say hands down That's the best. on all the carnival ships, the Alchemy bar is where the best drinks are because nothing is pre-mixed. It's not no, no, everything is made from scratch, uh, fam. So yeah. it's the best place, so of course. I always go to my Alchemy sidecar that's made with the Hardee's Cognac. Yep. Delicious. I love it. <laughs> and I only got a drink from there once because the first time we went, I was tapped. I was like, I am done. We had been drinking. We we did this on the back end <clears throat> of our group cruise. Five days of drinking, and now we on eight days of this. Yeah. I was I was tapped out. I like I am done. Like my I can't take no more. But I got a Kichi Cosmo. Yeah. That was really, yeah. really good. And when I say it took me until the night before we got off the cruise to get that drink. Yeah. That's how tapped out I had become. <laughs> yes. And uh, so then we moved on to, uh, oh yeah. So at the dining room, uh, I got a drink called the Lynchburg Lemonade. That was Made, good. made with Jack Daniel. And, it, <laughs> and I don't like any yeah, Jack. Yeah, don't like I don't no like Jack. whiskey. I don't like any of it. But it was good. That was good. It was good. Um, I got the spicy chipotle pineapple martini. That's a lot. Thank to say. you. <laughs> yeah, and I always get one of those per cruise. That's right. that's a really good drink. 
and we already told you about the Bali sunset and the crazy mango from Gigi. Yeah, but that and was I, all. That was pretty much that all was we pretty drank much it. for the whole trip. Cause one thing we said this trip, cause usually we are creatures of habit. If you a creature of habit, let me know that in the mm -hmm. comments as well. We usually stick to the same stuff every time. So this time we actually tried a bunch of different drinks. Yeah. So and I was satisfied. I was yeah. too. The usually I don't like to, cause you end up getting something that you don't like. And, and you get, pay for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so now let's move on to the dislikes. Like the queen said, there was very minimum dislikes that we uh, had on the trip. But the first one, <laughs> and I'm, and I know everybody that's some been on the horizon, y'all gonna light them comments up. Them got darn elevated. I have never I, in it, my it, life. I I don't understand why it was taking so long. Here's the thing. We've experienced these elevators on different ships. Mm -hmm. Icon, the largest ship in the world, did not have these problems. MSC, the cruise line we hate, didn't have these problems. I promise you, one day, just because we had time, we sat there and saw and, and said, how long is it going to take for this elevator to come? We tapped out at 12 minutes. Yeah. And this was the norm. This was the freaking norm. <laughs> yeah. And, and for those of you who don't know, the type of elevators they have is the ones that you actually press it on the outside of the elevator. So you will press your floor and then it will give you a, a elevator to go a, to. An elevator uh, letter to go to. It was nah, horrible. That's a no go. <laughs> it it's was like, horrible. They need to change that ASAP. Now I'm always, <clears throat> I'm good for taking the stairs which y'all may not have realized, is the last few trips that we have been on, me and Stanley have been in boots. Yeah. <laughs> His Achilles heel started acting up on him, and my arch fell, and I've been in a boot for like nine weeks. Right. I was still in the boot on this trip, <laughs> on and off. So walking up and down steps was just not ideal for me. Yeah. But we had to do it because we would never be able to move, especially when we were getting off the ship for like port days and stuff yeah. like that. It was terrible. I'm not gonna tell you to pray for patience, but I just want you just to pack your patience. So while you packing your swim shoes your, <laughs> uh, and, and your shirts and your shorts, pack your patience in there too, a lot of it. Because yeah, those elevators it. are going to frustrate you. Yep. The second thing was yes. the service. Service was good, but slow. Yes. And we're talking about service, <clears throat> bar service. We're talking about um, dining room service. Yeah. Just slow. Yeah. And we had I, to wait. I said, so they had to be understaffed. Like, yeah. We, I think we sat in the dining room before we even got water for like 20 minutes. Yeah. We ain't had nowhere to go, right. but... It was very slow. The next thing that we uh, disliked was the sky ride was down the whole trip. They actually brought it back up on the last day. The last day. But by that time, you like- Thrill is gone. Yeah, so the sky ride was down. I don't know if it was down the ceiling prior to hours. They, so the people in the <clears throat> Facebook group said it was down, it was the, down the, for the past two trips. Yes. Yeah, so down. if you went on it after our sailing dates, let us know if, if the sky ride is back up. Yeah. So yeah. people were asking for like, y'all need to comp us something because there were some people that came <clears> on, <throat> at least that's what they said. Right. That they came on specifically to try the sky ride. That is valid. Like everything we paid for is not 100% operational. So yeah, I do get that some people were, they, 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 they complained about it. Yeah. So we actually went to the spa this time. Well, this was my first time going to the spa. We're supposed to say the spa was one of our lights at, uh, the, uh, up when we was on the loves. Yeah, but the spa is really yeah, nice. But it just came back to it now. So we did love the spa. The spa was, mm -hmm. was, was great. The masseuse. <clears throat> yeah. They the, were good. They were great. The only thing that we hated after we spent all that money getting and the we massage, spent a lot. They tried to upsell us at the end. And and I'm not talking about upselling you for like 30, 40, 50 bucks. We talking about hundreds of more dollars. Hundreds of more. And we was like, no, nah, we already done spent a whole lot of money up in here. Like mm -hmm. we is not going to give you no more. Yeah. <laughs> so my thing is, I think if you spend a certain amount of money in the spa, upselling should just not even be a thing. Like nah. you've made enough. Right. So, in my opinion, I was like, y'all just like kind of just took all the relaxation that I just experienced and put high pressure sales on me right. before I could even get out of there. 
I I really did not like that at yeah, all. Yeah, I didn't like it, but other than that. All right, so my next thing that I dislike, and I'm very passionate about this as a travel agent, someone that's very passionate about people going on cruise lines that are budget friendly, right. but good, have good wholesome fun. One thing I cannot stand about Carnival right now, it's been this way for a minute in my opinion, but right now it seems to be coming to a head, is that the enforcement of rules are non-existent. Nope. And because the non-enforcement of rules is non-existent, that's when you start to experience some of those negatives that you don't like to experience. For example, we were in the in the Serenity Deck area, which is adults only. There's adults coming through there, walking through with their children, walking clean past employees, and employees are not saying anything. Right. Now, if another guest says something, <clears throat> that's a freaking fight. You know what I'm saying? Right. So things like that were making people like, what the freak? Like, what is going on? Kids curfew, non-existent. Mm. I don't care what time of night we went out that cabin, what time oh. of morning we went out that cabin, the oh, yeah. kids were running amok. Yeah. But good thing they weren't running amok around our cabin because we was at the, in the spa. That was our uh, saving grace. That was our saving grace. But out out in general pop. They were running amok. Yeah. <laughs> and it was because of the lack of, one, parenting. Everybody on vacation. But why your child is out at 3 o'clock in the morning? Right. And then... Staff would see them and wouldn't wouldn't send them to their cabin or get security to escort them to their cabin. So that yeah. is one of the negatives that I hate it. And I well, will that's say across the Carnival fleet. And that's across the Carnival fleet. This ain't a yeah, horizon, horizon problem. Thing. It's a thing. But yeah. I will <laughs> say this. I don't know what happened on this ship. And as a person that cruise, on average, we cruise once every two to three months. This and we cruise all the time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July. This is the first time. Hear me when I say this good. <laughs> Cause we we travel with our families, which means that this is when the kids are out of school. Da 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 da. da. We do this right. annually. I have never experienced so many children out of control. Just let loose out of control it was like, out of control and we love and we love and I, kids on vacation having fun because we grew up not being able to do I that wouldn't, i wouldn't get that experience my my parents say they couldn't afford to do that so we went you know from around here kings and minion or you went to a local park or something like uh -huh. that uh, but and we got mcdonald's on, at home right <laughs> and but in order to get on the cruise ship so that would never out, happen shouts out to all the parents that, that can make that happen that you've made that happen for your kids and giving them a new travel experience that they can see the world other than their hometown yeah so that's but with a, that said but with that said please if you know <laughs> that your child is off the chain they could be Please way off the chain on vacation. Keep your eyes on them. Please. That's it. Just keep your now. I know kids, man. Kids, kids gonna be kids. Kids gonna be kids. Even if you present, they gonna just do what they want. I just want to see you come through the crowd hey, and just them snatch them up. We did see one we guy did, yank his did, kid. We did up. see one guy do it. Yeah. I mean, we the things that we saw were kids taking ice cream cones and just dragging it against the wall. Kids taking ice cream cones and smashing it in the carpet and stepping on it. Yeah, which is which is a kid thing. Was that's that? I mean, we did it when we was kids. But my mama would have knocked my like, tail out. I, when I ain't think my mama saw me and turn around and know you see you see them hands coming, you know, you know. Because my mama said one thing you ain't going to do for me, me You ain't going to embarrass me in public. <laughs> you ain't going to make people think that I ain't a good parent. Nah, we ain't doing that. <laughs> yeah. And then it was a lot of the running around and the stuff like that. Like kids not being, cons and kids don't have that to be considerate of others right. always. But we literally saw kids almost knock older people down. Yeah. Like people that <clears throat> are not really mobile. We saw them near, like nearly knocking them down, right. just being buck wild. So my advice would be, if you can, try to sail in months where most of them kids are in school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I would definitely do Horizon again. I don't know if this was a Horizon 
thing because everybody loves the horizon and everybody but, gravitates to the horizon. But when we talked about it on the live a few weeks ago, some people were saying they did experience it on, on other ships. Okay. So in down in the comments, let us know if you like this summer, did you experience Was it this on crazier? other ships? Yeah, we would love, because we didn't experience that on Celebration. We didn't experience it on Sunrise. We did mm -hmm. not experience that on the Magic. No. Like, uh -uh. it was crazy. Yeah, this was, this was by far the worst. So I my upgrade offer that I paid 400 some dollars for that spa balcony, yes, it was expensive. It was, it was worth it. It was worth it <laughs> yes. because we were not on the floor because the people in the Facebook group said that the kids were coming by and, and knocking on, Knock their, on doors their doors <laughs> and run. They were taking their magnets off the doors and putting it on other people's doors. Yes. And then the other people think that you stole their magnet. <laughs> Kid stuff. Yeah. But they were just off the chain. So that was one of the things. I will do it her, uh, Horizon again. I just would consider doing it when on an off season. Yeah, between March and May. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I can't. I can't. The next thing that I did not like was, it's just, it wasn't a make or break, but it's weird to me, is that they don't have a bar in the casino. Yeah, cause I, I went in there and so we was like, I'm gonna get us some Tokyo tea. <laughs> Stella said. And so I start walking around, I walked around, I'm going around <laughs> and the I corners, forgot, and I knew this. Like, I, I like, know this and I forgot. I, I was like, usually in the casino, the first thing you see is the bar. Mm -hmm. And find out, nah, you gotta order your drinks with the waiters. Yeah, and yeah. then the, here's the thing: I, we needed them to tweak the Tokyo tea because they made it too sweet. sweet. Yeah, and it was like, yeah, you couldn't go back. You, to, yeah. you can't go to nobody and tell them to tweak it because I don't want to send mine back with with Rolando. <laughs> <laughs> so it was that was weird to me. Yeah, that was weird to me too. Another thing I didn't <laughs> like is I didn't like Fresh Creations on this ship. I mean, if I gotta go all the way down to not liking a salad bar. That means that the, the problems were very minimal on this ship. Right. Um, I loved I love, my, my salad was delicious. Mine was horrible. Yeah, my salad was delicious. And they make the salad for you, which is not a deal breaker for me. But on Celebration, you make your and own. And things were limited. Like on Celebration, now the last time we went on Celebration, their salad bar wasn't hitting on much either. It Everything seemed to be a little warm, in my opinion. Um, but this one, they didn't have croutons. Yeah, the croutons. Um, it was a crouton for me. I'm like, they didn't no have croutons. the pineapple um, dressing that I go to every time I go. So it was different things that just was like, I could have got this salad in the daggone dining room. But yeah, my salad was good. Sorry, sorry your mm. salad. Sorry your suddenly salad won't good. <laughs> and the last thing we did not like was, and this is not a Carnival Horizon thing. This it's is a Carnival, carnival across the thing. Feet. Is disembarkation. Yeah. They why? I, um I, I am so waiting for them to perfect that. Um, and let's talk about the fact that thankfully we did not do express checkout this time because I thought that thing through. We had the five suitcases because mm -hmm. we were just coming off of our group cruise. So we had luggage for 15 days. I thought about those elevators and luggage and everybody Sad. else no and we sent everything but our small carry-on down so that we could pick it up once we got <clears throat> off and that was the only reason we got off that ship yeah in time, in time because yeah they shut the elevators the slow elevators now they shut, shut the most of them down yeah everybody from mid had to come to forward and them people still might be there now <laughs> <laughs> and the only way we we came down the steps because, we had to come we down had the our carry-on bag so we just we just walk i said let's let's go down these steps because we're gonna be waiting forever so yeah that was insane so if you've been on a horizon i want to hear your experience how was it your experience on our sailing if you was on here and then like the sailors now that you've been on have they improved because mm -hmm. that's one thing we said but i would say this leaving your bags outside of the room is a game changer we used to hate it until yeah. we did it they've gotten better with they've it. gotten better it's it's like when you go down it's, it's so right easy there? yeah the zones you see your stuff is so easy so if you don't want to grapple with your bags on debarkation day send them down yeah if, if you ain't too drunk make it back to your cabin to get them out there by lip <laughs> yeah and what i did love you you triggered something is that on this ship is they brought the luggage tags to, to your you. cabin. Yeah, because usually you got to go with so the usually, services. No, usually you have to go to 
like near the alchemy bar somewhere That's and right, they pick had them little, up yeah, they had a little stand and, set up, and yeah. bring them back and this time they just brought them to your cabin <laughs> they did it like royal caribbean do yeah. it royal caribbean give them to you in the cabin so what you do is you select your in the app they're getting a little better with the app in the app you tell them how many luggage tags you need yeah and what time you want to debark and then your cabin attendant would leave them in your room midday. That was so good. They brought our, we did purchase um, some alcohol. Yeah. That Mama Wana. And they brought that to the room the night before as well. So yeah, we didn't that was have cool. to do that. Yeah, so that was great. I, I did enjoy stuff like that. <clears throat> right. But I'm definitely going to do Hill Horizon. Oh, yeah. We definitely going back on again. And we recommend that you go on there. If you have not been on there, if you're getting ready to go sail on there, Take it from us. You're going to have a great time. Mm -hmm. Lean in. Have some fun. Get some good food. Get some good drinks. If you have enjoyed this review, you want to check out our embarkation day on the Counter Horizon. And we're going to see you in the next video. Straight from the VA. Two up. Two down.